हेलो एवरीवन रेड शिक्षण संस्थाज ऑनलाइन लर्निंग प्रोग्राम वेलकम्स यू ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नेक्स्ट हाफ पार्ट ऑफ द लेसन द लंचन ऑफ टेन स्टैंडर्ड कुमार भारती टेक्स्ट बुक दिस लेसन इज रिटन बाय विलियम मॉगम इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट द ऑथर मेट द लेडी हु वॉज वेटिंग फॉर लंचन एंड दे वेंट इन big restaurant fired which is very costly the lady first assured author that she will not have much food for her luncheon she will just have one dish for her luncheon and they went in the hotel after that the lady had ordered very costly dishes which cannot be affordable by the author she had ordered caviar salmon and asparagus now next what happened we will see in this video let us start we waited for the asparagus to be cooked panic seized me it was not a question now of how much money i should have left over for the rest of the month but whether i had enough to pay the bill it would be mortifying to find myself 10 francs short and be obliged to borrow from my guest i knew exactly how much i had and if the bill came to more i made up my mind that i would put my hands in my pocket and with a dramatic cry start up and say it had been picked of course it would be awkward if she had not money enough either to pay the bill then the only thing would be to leave my watch and say i would come back and pay later now when this this costly dishes was ordered by her the author was quite disturbed panic seized him that means he got bit shocked and thought about how he could pay the bill because he don't have that much money he have only 80 francs with him so he decided that after the bill will come if there will be less money then he will borrow from her, the guest otherwise if the bill will come more and the, she don't have that much money then he dramatically dramatically put his hand in her his pocket and start up and say that the pocket had been picked otherwise he thought then the only way that he will keep his watch there and on the counter and come again later and pay the bill afterwards so all this thought was present in his mind to pay the bill next the asparagus appeared i watched her thrust them down her throat in large mouthfuls at last she finished coffee i said Yes, just an ice cream and coffee. She answered. I was past caring now, so I offered coffee for myself and an ice cream and coffee for her. You know, there is one thing I thoroughly believe in, she said. As she ate the ice cream, one should always get up from a meal feeling one could eat a little more. Now when the asparagus came she had eaten it with mouthfuls the writer just saw at her till she finished that dish then he asked her whether she would like to have coffee she said yes ice cream and coffee now the author had totally lost caring about how to pay the bill and that's why he had ordered coffee for himself and an ice cream and coffee for the lady again the lady told him that after finishing ice cream she said that you always get up from your meal that you feel that something you can little eat more that means you have to eat less food as you don't have to fill your stomach with all the food according to her then again the writer asked her are you still hungry he asked it faintly 
because now he afraid that whether she is still hungry and ordered some more costly dishes then the lady replied oh no i am not hungry you see i don't eat luncheon i have a cup of coffee in the morning and then dinner but i never eat more than one thing for luncheon i was speaking for you now she said that she is drinking just a cup of coffee in the morning and then in the dinner she never ate more than one thing for a luncheon and she was thinking this for himself then the author replied oh i see then a terrible thing happened while we were waiting for the coffee the head waiter came up to us bearing a large basket full of huge peaches but surely peaches were not in the season then lord knew what they cost i knew a little later for my guest going on with her conversation absent mindedly took one you see you have filled your stomach with a lot of meat my one miserable little chop and you can't eat any more but i have just had a snack and i shall enjoy a peach now a terrible thing happened after all this thing while these people were waiting for coffee the head waiter of the hotel came up with a large basket full of huge peaches peaches is a fruit which is very costly unfortunately the peaches was not in that season then he got a fret again what may they cost still he was thinking about that the guest without thinking anything absent mindedly took one of the peach from the basket and she said that you have filled your stomach with the heavy meat and i have just had a snack that's why i can enjoy a peach see that lady was absent mindedly took the peach and then gave lecture to the author that he had a lots of thing he had filled his stomach with the mutton chops which is very heavy dish and she can enjoy the peach as she had just eaten a snack next the bill came and when paid i paid it i found that i had only enough for a quite inadequate tip her eyes rested for an instant on the 3 francs i left for the waiter and i knew that she thought me mean but when i walked out of the restaurant i had the whole month before me and not a penny in my pocket follow my example she said as we shook hands i never eat more than one thing for luncheon i'll do better than that i retorted i will eat nothing for dinner tonight now when the bill came at that time the author have just not enough money inadequate to pay the in tip only 3 francs left and that he left for the waiter as tip that time also he thought she will think that the person the author is very mean but now he knew his condition well that in front of him whole month is there and he don't have a money in his pocket that means he have to leave all the month without money how he could again she said while shaking hand uh, follow my example and never eat more than one thing for a luncheon here the author retorted her that i will do better than that and i will not eat anything for dinner tonight so he retorted in this way to her what was the reply of the lady see humorist she cried gaily jumping into a cab you are quite humorist after listening this answer that he will not had anything for dinner that night she cried gaily happily and jumped into the cab and said that the author was really very humorous now he remember all these incident which happened with him before so many years ago now 
his condition see but i have had my revenge at last i do not believe that i am a vindictive man but when the gods take a hand in the matter it is understandable to observe the result with satisfaction today she weighs 21 stone now when they again meet here in the here that time he remember in the theater they met again after this incident after so many years and now he saw he thought that he is not vindictive man vindictive man is the person who will take the revenge but he don't want to take any revenge of this incident but he thought the god take hand in this matter and he got the satisfaction that the lady who was eating just a one dish for luncheon weighed 21 stone that means she became very fat and this make satisf- this incident makes satisfactory to the author i hope you all understood the lesson thank you for watching